Hello everyone, we will continue the topic control break statements or control break events and in the previous video we applied all the four control break statements or events inside the loop. At first, at last, at the new field name and at end of field name. This payment mode, this payment mode, we are displaying using at new field name control break event and the sum of total amount we are displaying using at end of field name. That is that by using at end of field name control break event. Now we make sum using the statement sum sum. Now we need to understand how this sum is working. And it's a extremely important understanding from the interview perspective, if anyone is asking the question based upon control break statements or events, definitely this question will be always, always asked that how you make sum in control break event or statement. So how this sum is working. Now our next topic is control break statements with sum with sum. By the topic itself, it is saying that sum is only only used in control break statements or events. So firstly, sum we should always always apply between loop and end loop statement. Yes, we applied between loop and end loop, correct. And it needs to be applied in control break statement. Control break statement means what? It needs to be between and at. It, it, it needs to be between at and end at. Have we applied some between at and end at? Yes. So first most important point, if someone asks you what is some, the first answer is yes. Some is applicable to control break statements. It means it needs to be applied between at and end at. Now we will understand how it will work. Sum calculates the sum of all numeric fields to the right of the current group T. Extremely important line. We all know word itself is saying sum means it will make sum. It will calculate the sum of all numeric fields to the right of the current group T. Just see in our requirement, we are making sum based upon what payment mode? Yes, it means what is our group key? What is our group key? payment mode. This is the first most important point to understand. We are making some based upon which key based upon payment mode. So these are the two columns in the internal table. First one is payment mode. Second one is total amount. We are making some of total amount based upon which key payment mode. So how sum is working? Sum calculate the sum of all numeric fields to the right of the current group key. Just see, is this total amount column is to the right hand side of payment mode? Yes. Just see your internal table. This total amount column is after the payment mode. It means firstly we have payment mode. Then we have total amount. So total amount column is on the right hand side of payment mode. And what is payment mode? Payment mode is your key. Yes, because you are making sum based upon payment mode. So sum will make sum of all numeric. Numeric field means what? 
we are making sum of amount, we are making sum of currency. So all those are considered as numeric field. We are making sum of numeric fields to the right of the group key, current group key. So this payment, this, this total amount is on the right hand side of payment mode. So it means it will make sum of this total amount. It will make sum of this total amount as it is on the right hand side. Suppose we have one more column on the right hand side. Suppose I am saying item cost. So it will make some of that also. Suppose we have one another column, suppose quantity. So it will make some of that also. So whatever the columns are on the right hand side, the prerequisite is numeric, numeric fields. Numeric field means what quantity is there, amount is there. So some calculate the sum of all numeric fields to the right of the group key. So this point is clear. Now, sum is for the all rows of the current group. Just see, what is our current group? What is our current group? Our group is based upon payment mode. So this is one group. This is one group. This is one group. So sum will make sum of all rows of the current group. It means it will take these four records because it belongs to one group. It will take these four records because it belongs to one group. It will take these two records because it belongs to one group. Just see, it is clearly mentioned. Sum is for the all rows of the current group. Suppose we have payment more C is going on. So these are the four records of the current group. These are the four records of the current group. These are the two records of the current group. So it will make sum of all rows of the current group and assign it to the corresponding components of work area, work area. Just see. When I displayed, when I have written the logic, what I have written, work area hyphen total amount, work area hyphen total amount. So how it will do? So whenever it, whenever how this will work at end of payment mode. So at end of payment mode, it will trigger for the last record of the group. So control will come to this. So at end will trigger onto this particular record. It will make sum. It will make sum of what whatever the fields are on the right hand side. Whatever the field on the right hand side. Currently which column is on the right hand side? Total amount. It will make sum of all the records. So it means what? 100, 200, 100, 200. But the total is 600. X 600 will be assigned to what? Components of work area. It means 600 will be assigned to work area. Which column? Total amount. Suppose. Now we will go for next thing. Suppose this is the last record of T debit card. At end of payment mode. So it will come to this particular record. It will come on to this particular record because at end will trigger for the last record of that particular group. It will make some, make some of numeric fields on the right hand side. Is this a numeric field? Yes. It will make some of all the records so it will make some of this, 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 and see, we are using the word current group, current group. It means what the current group is going on T. It will not, not take the previous group. It always works on the current group. So 300, 400, 700, 1000, 1400. So this 1400 
will be assigned to what work area and what is work area total amount it will be 1400 now we'll come on to next group next group so this is the last record of the group so at end will trigger yes at end will trigger yes it will make some of the numeric field it will make some of the numeric fields to the right hand side is this column is on the right hand side yes so it will take all the records of the current group what is current group net banking so it will take this it will take this 500 plus 500 1000 and 1000 will be assigned to what 1000 will be assigned to work area so what will be work area total amount it will be 1000 so this is how sum is working and it is extremely extremely important understanding if i will come on to the conclusion or summary just understand some make some of some make some of the numeric fields of a particular group group whatever the records are there in that group it will make some of all the numeric fields but just make sure it will make some of the fields which are on the right hand side of the group key in our current scenario our group key is payment mode so it means it will take those fields only which are on the right hand side of payment mode this word is very very important right hand side because maximum people will do the mistake their column is on the left hand side and they are saying sum is not working so yes it will make some of the numeric fields yes that are on the right hand side of the key so one liner summary is sum it always always applicable in control break statement it will make some of the numeric fields whatever the records belongs to that particular group it will make some of all those numeric fields and result will be assigned to the work area in the next video we will understand the full flow in the debugging mode and this topic will be more more clear to each one of you so that's it in this video thank you